Good evening, Hyperspinners. Today we're going to be talking about how to get Killer Instinct on the PC up and running, so get ready. Alright guys, now this might be old news for you, but it was certainly something new for me. And I was trying to run Killer Instinct on my PC, and it's been a while since I've uh, played that, and I've noticed that there was quite a big bug uh, with the PC game in itself in one of the latest updates. So uh, what this bug is, is if your calendar date is before, or sorry, is after November, I, I think 30th or something of 2017, the game actually won't load so you'll try to run the app and you'll get a black screen and then it will just uh crash the game and it just actually won't load so a couple things that i've uh, done online uh, to research the issue is you know you can delete or rename the startup resolution options and that will get rid of the uh you know the black screen you'll actually see the uh, display uh, but that really didn't fix the crashing issue that I uh, was having so you know if you're only seeing a black screen but you can hear sound go on you, you can just delete that startup resolution options or just rename it as you can see here I've got old uh, in front of it and that that fixed the visual problem but the other problem was the crashing so what I've done here is I've injected the uh, date uh, a specific date uh, in November and that basically runs as the game launches so instead of the current date it injects the date in 2017 uh, this is all very silly but uh, it does work so what we're gonna do is wherever you've got Killer Instinct on your PC uh, open that folder up create a folder that's named run as date and this is a app that I found online. It, you know, it's labeled run as date as you see. And what you've got to do is just double click it after you've uh, installed it. It's very lightweight. And you're going to put the application. So th this is going to be the actual XE for your killer instinct. And then what I did is I put in 11-20-2017. So basically whenever this runs, uh, the calendar is injected with this date and it, it, it allows you to run the game, uh, silly enough. So uh, the one important thing that you got to do is you need to check the immediate mode. So change the date immediately when the program starts. So you want to check that. And then what you want to do is name this uh, launcher to whatever you want. I named it Killer Instinct Launcher. Once you've done that, push Create Desktop Shortcut and the shortcut will be on your desktop you know go figure and I'm gonna go ahead and close this because that's all you need here so I'm gonna go ahead and close and then I'm gonna go back to the Killer Instinct folder and what you'll find is I just copied and pasted the uh, launcher here and it's right there so if I were to double click that I would get the game up and running and everything would be fine uh, so it was frustrating enough but this does do the job and you can just double click the uh, the shortcut and it will pull up the game. But to finish things off, since I use Hyperspin here, what you're going to want to do is go to your Rocket Launcher folder. We're going to go to Modules, PC Launcher, and under PC Launcher INI, you're going to open that. And you're going to find your instance of Killer Instinct, which I have already done here. Now let's close that. And what we're going to see here is, what's funny here is in Rocket Launcher uh, UI, if you go to your game, uh, you will find that you can't actually uh, put in the XE uh, any shortcuts. So that's why I've got this, uh, this INI file up here. I'll, I'll kind of show you what I'm referring to here in a second, but uh, to basically get this thing up and running, you're going to just put in where your application is. You're going to put that location of that Killer Instinct launcher, and you're going to put a .lnk. And here is your PC, and we're going to look over here. And what you're going to find is 
when you are at your PC launcher and you've pushed the plus sign or if you're modifying what's already in there, this XE down here where it's application, you have to select XE. Uh, so what you want to do is just open up the INI and do this manual. I'm going to go ahead and go down to Killer Instinct and you will find there's your L and K. Uh, you, you can't search within your rocket launcher UI. You have to go in and modify the INI here. So just add that in there and that is all there is to it. And you've got Killer Instinct working again and you can use that uh, as you wish. So uh, that is uh, an interesting workaround, but that does get the job done and we will catch you next time.